Hi everyone, this is me again with a new tutorial. So, in this part, I will create the environment, and in the second part, my friend of mine will create a uh, will render the scene in Cinema 4D and V-Ray, and we'll do the post production. So, let's start. I will uh, so. For the terrains, I will use the v, uh, I will use World Machine, uh, and I will start by creating Go to Generator here menu, and and I will create a Voronoi and drag it here, and I will double click in it to open this options box. And I will play. Uh, I will play around with some settings here till I get good shape. As you can see here, you can see the preview here. Um, go like this, and let's say I will try to change the style here. I will try F3. Yeah, and. Let's see something like this, maybe. Yeah, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hit OK. And what I'm gonna do now, as you can see here, I can preview my terrain here, uh, or I can just go in the 3D view here. You can see you can preview your terrain like that. Um, so, or uh, if you want to open this 3D view, you can just go here or something. You can just go to view and and select open addition additional windows and yeah, you can scale it like that and just open your 3D view in it. So you have a bigger um, window for previewing your terrain. So as you can see, this is this is let's say the base mesh to create the terrain. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, I will I will just add uh, some realistic erosions and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do, I will go to natural and I will add an erosion and I will link it with Vernoi. Double click in it and change the erosion method here to channel, channeled, erosion and let's see here, you will see the preview here. So uh, I will add the erosion base duration, you can see here, you see some erosions here. I will just play around with this setting till you get the desired effect. Something like that. Okay, I will enable the geological time enhancement. Enable it like that and like that. Channel depth. Bring it like that. I will hit OK and yeah, you can see here we have now some um very good um details in the terrain so <clears throat> you noticed here that the terrain is really low res so what we're gonna do we will increase the resolution of it so what i'm gonna where i gonna do it i will so i will go to this symbol here and <clears throat> and let's disable this and I will increase the resolution to 2K and I will hit OK. Then I will hit the build button. Uh, it does uh, help you to build uh, the details and the erosions uh, in high quality, in high res. So it will take some, uh, as you can see here, it's building now and it will take some seconds.
So our terrain is built now. Uh, if I hit OK, you can see the details are updated now in the viewport. You can see here we have very, very good details and very good erosions going on in the terrain. So, as you can see here, it's really, really good. Um, that's just a basic setup. And it's already giving me some very good erosions and very good detailed in details in the terrain. So now let's go into the process of creating textures. We can uh, export a lot of kind of textures from from World Machine. We can export uh, the flow map, disposition map, wear map, and the base uh, the base map so in our case we will need just the flow map but i will show you how to create a uh, base map base texture inside of world machine then we will use the flow map to texture our terrain in cinema 4d and v-ray uh, so i will start by putting a colorizer i will go to convert it here and i will add a colorizer I will link it with the primary output, the high fill, and you can see here you can just uh, make your own gradient or you can just uh, select one uh, from presist here. Uh, in my case, I will uh, I will make just one simple. I will clear all and I will make because in our case we want the terrain to be arranged and we want the flows, uh, the flows to be white somehow. So let's just resolve like that. Just make it like that and and I will copy and paste this one and. I will link it with the flow map over here. But in in this case, I will make another one here. I will make this one black and this one white. Um, then what I'm gonna do? I will grab a combiner. And I will combine these two together. So this is what we've got. And double click on it. And I will change the method here to add. Let's save. Okay, uh, so to preview this texture uh, on, on our terrain, I will add a overlay view and in the first out input here I will link it with the high fill and the second one I will link it with the combiner something like that so when I build you can see the textures are in our case, it's not it's not a texture. It's just a a solid color because uh, we are just making an abstract art. Uh, it's not supposed to be realistic. So that's it. Uh, now what we're gonna do? We will just uh, export our mesh and our flow map. So I will just uh, go to I think generate it now output and I will put a mesh output link it with the height field and and I will add a height out, output and I will link it sorry and I will link it with the okay I will link it with so with the flow map here. So it gives me a 
high definition texture you see here so we will just export our height map first I will export it as PNG it's not the best option but I will go for it this time um, let's create a folder we name it to run then I will name this to flow map png and I will write off for the disk okay and I will export our mesh I will leave all these options just like that and I will just specify a an output or to win and I will save it and head right off to disk so that's pretty much it we're gonna need just the mesh and the flow map so this is the end of this tutorial in the second part my friend will show you how to create uh, how to export it the cinema 4d and uh render it and we'll show you also the post-production so see you another time thank you for watching